Angelina's Concertina Boxes and Buttons, written by Gina Chakazeski Cabot. When she was just five, up to the attic she crept. Grandma opened a case in which she kept one crimson faded worn out concertina, smelling unfamiliarly old, with many a musical story of collapsed notes her father once told. It's been up here for years, grandmother said. Let's dust off the cobwebs and shine up this red, illustrious machine, quiet, much too long. It's been waiting for you to play it a song. Angelina lovingly grasped the instrument with ease. She struggled a bit, adjusted the straps, then gave it a squeeze. This was your father's and your grandfather's before him. It seems a bit broken and needs repairs within. Grandma pointed to holes where mother of pearl buttons once produced a sound. Let me see if we can compose something together from this other box of buttons I found. And so they fixed and tinkered a button there and here. Placing and choosing colors and styles, they played it all by ear. It let out a squeal, a moan, a sharp major mumble. Angelina's fingers atop each glued on button seemed rather small and humble. Then she noticed a rhythm and a tone. Angelina Bello shook a version of her own in her song just oozing right out. This reddish hodgepodgey thing was becoming happily alive. Grandmother shouted out, Angelina, play that concertina, for your music is so tra-la-la. Always let your fingers do their dancing. Hoop-bye, doop-bye, shoop-bye, ooh-la-la. Grandma Chorus, I think you're ready for the lessons as a student of the stage. You're just like your father when he was that age. Although this concertina was not quite new, together they played a memorable tune. Its faded color and real buttoned up holes gave it an unusual appearance. It was authentic, unlike anything in stores. Grandfather bought this concertina and he got down on one knee. He sang, let me call you sweetheart and asked me to marry. Your father asked your mother the same and together they make a band. Music paves their road as they travel the land. If you believe in yourself, you'll play with all the greats. Tuba Charlie, Little Mo the Clarinet Farley, You'll have many bookings and dates. And so we'll use what we have and fix this machine. You have such a legacy here, little monkey. Keep practicing. Someday you'll see, hear, and know what I mean. And by the way, these buttons are very special, grandmother continued to say. They're collections from costumes and outfits your father used on, st on stage. And when he felt insecure, the blue ones he wore best. Red ones and white ones draped confidence across his chest. Every color under the sun, from one box to another, one by one. And now here they laid on a concertina played. Grandmother clapped and cheered for a song she loved so dear. Angelina played that concertina. For your music is so tra-la-la. Always let your fingers do their dancing. whoop by doop by shoop by ooh la la Every day she practiced and played up in the attic where grandmother stayed. Even at a very young age, she felt ready for the stage and was proud of her heritage. Once upon a polka, she knew that song by heart. Roll out the barrel from finish to start. Polka, 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 she knew them all. Standing between her parents, she was the polka princess of their music hall.
Until the day came, Angelina did not feel the same. Standing in front of children who sneered, they laughed at her until she teared. Angelina didn't feel too happy. She felt rather embarrassed and sad. She stumbled through her performance, performance, wishing mean kids were not so cruel and bad. Mocking the instrument she loved and played, making fun of a monkey up there on stage. They pushed all of her buttons and made them all fall out of line. She couldn't concentrate. She couldn't keep time. But the dancing crowds didn't notice. They continued to clap and cheer, watching this well-trained performer playing the song they loved to hear. Angelina, play that concertina, for your music is so tra-la-la. Always let your fingers do their dancing. hoop by doop by shoop by ooh la la And in this most interesting case, she decided to lock up the button box for good and get out of this place. She waltzed about from the normal refrain, and for the next several months, she tried to change. Electric guitar, trumpet, bassoon? She figured she'd stick to the drums because those are always cool. But she missed dancing her fingers over those unique buttons of colorful hues. Grandmother missed hearing her special melodious tune. Later that year, Grandmother grew rather sickly and pale. She lost that bounce in her step, her body frail. She spent most days in a nursing home bed. Angelina visited often, telling jokes for chimps to cheer her up instead. But nothing would do except for just one thing. Angelina knew it was the song she loved to sing. Angelina hurried back home, swing, swing, swung from tree to tree. She recalled the lessons from Grandma and polished up her concertina all shiny. This box within a box, waiting for her to play again. A gift within a gift, buttons still exactly as she left them. Angelina walked over to her grandmother's bed, placed the bellows close to her head, played a tune they'd both heard before. Much to their surprise, grandmother opened her eyes and shuffled a polka right out the door. Into the hall, grandmother shouted to all, come and hear this happy tune. As the families gathered into the great room, it mattered. Some of the children who once laughed at Angelina were visiting their grand grandparents at the nursing home too. She played in the great hall, gave no caution to all, her insecurities or what those other kids thought. She played all the buttons from top to bottom from the concertina inside the case she brought. Around the corner, they all peered, everyone's clapped and cheered. Angelina, play that concertina, for your music is so tra-la-la. Always let your fingers do their dancing. hoop by doop by shoop by ooh la la At the end of several songs she played perfectly snappy, Angelina said, I'm glad my music makes you all so very happy. This is the instrument I love to play, and I don't care anymore what some mean kids had to say. Now, with colorful cheeks and a fancy bounce like no other, Angelina listened to echoing words of her cheerful grandmother. Always remember what's deep in your heart. Your buttons of courage and strength are never far apart. Just like those we placed on that concertina, you have the power to play any song you want, Angelina. After the show, carrying their heads way down low, those once cruel kids chorused, sorry, all in good timing. Tapping along, envious of her song, facing their own music was rough they were finding.
from that moment on, Angelina's concertina never let her fingers stop their dancing, for her music was so tra-la-la. And in the dance hall of life, she took center stage. Hoop-i-doop-i-shoop-i-ooh-la-la. -la.